What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Jobless Gamer family today for daily Watch Dogs content. With that said, let's jump into a very much asked question in regards to why Watch Dogs will not have flyable vehicles or aircraft vehicles in the game. I know a lot of you guys are coming from GTA 5 and expected Watch Dogs to have such an awesome free roam that included aircraft vehicles but sadly it does not so today i have an answer to you why there's no aircraft vehicles in Watch Dogs, and it comes from ubisoft and actually the lead creative designer on Watch Dogs, jonathan morin he talked about the reasons behind not wanting to add flying in the game and how it relates to Watch Dogs emphasizing on different areas that other games don't touch to make it more unique and more enjoyable for the player now, this does not mean that, you know, maybe later down the line, Watch Dogs may have flyable vehicles, but right now, they do not have it in the game. Watch Dogs is largely based on the ground, and it won't be allowing players to fly aircraft for good reasons, and it will also have varied NPCs at every turn, so each NPC is unique, along with a simple yet effective crafting system. And that's where a lot of time went into Watch Dogs, just perfecting what they have with the resources, with the time, and they didn't want to, you know, expand too far in scale because once you start adding flyable vehicles that you as a character can fly, you have to think of all the things you need to add on top of that. Like a larger scale map, you need to have things on top of buildings. You need to make sure that, you know, at the top of the building you can't see through it. Things like that that, you know, a lot of people don't factor in. So I'm going to read you a direct quote from Jonathan Morin, who's the creative director on Watch Dogs. Just explaining the reasons behind not wanting to add flying in the game and how it relates to Watch Dogs, emphasizing on different areas. So, basically said, we don't ride helicopters, planes, or BMX. It's something we hear about a lot and it surprised me a bit. There's a lot of questions about the stuff that other games have and whether or not we have them. That's in regards to Watch Dogs. Some of them yes and some of them no. One thing we did want to push is stuff that other current games do not have. We want to have elements that push the fantasy of Watch Dogs a lot, so by pushing density and all that, we didn't push for crazy scale and stuff like that. If you have planes or choppers, you need that kind of scale. We wanted to dig into a different area, put the money, put the resources, the five and a half years of research on something else that players might not have touched already in another game. And that's probably a direct reference to any free roam game that he's speaking about. So that's what he said and I sort of agree. I think it's come to a point where there's a lot expected from free roam games. Everyone expects choppers. Everyone expects parachuting. All these things are expected of a free roam game because that's just the path people are accustomed to. So it's very brave for a brand new game to just go away from that, I guess, instilled structure in free roam games to just make their own path and i want to see how Watch Dogs does how it performs in the free roam there's been a lot of speculation and people saying that you know multiplayer free roam won't be as fun as gta 5 because you're limited on the amount of things you can do um, on the ground and there's nothing you can do in the air and i don't think that's true because in Watch Dogs, you're given many opportunities to do different things there's mini games there's digital trips and all these can be completed with friends or people in multiplayer you can hack each other. There's just different modes that will make Watch Dogs more than just, hey, let's go have fun in free roam. Hey, let's go rob this store. Hey, let's go kill some pedestrians. That's not how Watch Dogs is, and I'm sort of happy about that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the fact that Watch Dogs is going on their own path. Of course, I am a little upset that there is no flyable vehicles, but I look forward to the possibilities that Watch Dogs brings without these vehicles, without the opportunity to fly in the air, because you never know. Maybe the time they would have spent trying to make the game to scale, trying to make the game all ready for flyable vehicles, was spent on something better that other games don't have. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, Watch Dogs is a huge success. It does come out May 27th. If you guys want to find out any more information, you guys can check out the links in the description. I do have a link there if you guys want to pre-order the game as well. And... Make sure you check out all my Watch Dogs videos that I do daily. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Like always, it's been Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Stay up to date with Watch Dogs, GTA 5, and anything in my personal life. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later, guys.